I have a five-year-old. When he was two years old, his father and I found out that he had a speech impediment. So he started seeing a speech therapist. His doctor recommended we take him to a preschool uh, so he can uh, catch up. That was difficult because, for one, uh, there was a wait list for quality preschool education here in Tucson, and it was also completely unaffordable for us. We were able to pay it um, with the help of our entire family. We were on the wait list for the Arizona funding for preschool education for almost two years, but once we were approved, it was very helpful. Um, and thanks to that, he was able to start speaking at first he had to communicate through sign language. There were many barriers there. He was far behind the other children. Two years in preschool, he excelled. Now he is doing a marvelous job in a kindergarten. He's, he's ahead in uh, reading and, and vocabulary. And he's also learning Spanish. So he's uh, immersed in bilingual education right now in Tucson. If it wasn't for a preschool education, he would have been years behind, uh, not just academically, but socially. Families, especially single parents, have to choose between working sometimes and sending their kids to school, or they have to get a second job to actually be able to pay for their children to attend a preschool education. If there are two children, young children in a family, then it makes it almost impossible. So what we're seeing is a lot of working families, low-income families, leaving their children um, oftentimes in unsafe conditions, low uh, stimulus conditions where the children aren't learning um, because they have no other choice. If we had had Prop 204, we would have been able to get him into school a little bit sooner. It also would have uh, helped us with our finances for those first few years without state assistance. So it would have helped tremendously. It would have uh, alleviated a lot of stress in my household and it you know, would, uh, would have made a world of difference for us.